Welcome back, amigos. To part two of this episode 40. So our new char our charm editor it has now become a charmeleon. Our new member of our team. Flamethrower in our hands, we have a more higher powered flame attack. Oops, I forgot to change out. Charmander for. Ah, excuse me. Charmeleon, I mean. Forgive me, amigos. It will take me a little while to get used to the different changes from saying Charmander so many times with so many episodes. <laughs> okay, we got Firo. Do your best, Lapras. So if we keep up with, if we keep up with, excuse me, my mouth's not working today. <laughs> what I was going to say is, if we keep up, if we keep up the good work, we'll surely be able to defeat Blaine with no problem. something worth fighting. Good job, Lepers. Serve our ball beam when it comes to pony taws because they are more stronger against them. Another hero. Probably safer, I should use a lemonade. Be 
because F Fiero is a normal type Pokemon, so it's very strong when it comes to using, using Body Slam as a matching element. Next time, I should probably use Bubble Beam for those guys. back to Saladon to get more supplies of lemonade and, and some antidotes and paralyzed heals. For the burned, we're going back to Pokemon Center easily. I'd much rather have a critical end than burn. Save for sure the ball beam for Firo or Ponytaws. Twenty-seven, Firo. So this time we learned not to use Body Slam unless it's just a finishing move. Speed fell. Me 
maybe we should try Mist and see how that works at all and see what it really does. And good timing too, because we're gonna challenge another Fearow. Okay, let's try our Mist. Lapras is around around and miss. So this kind of reduces accuracy for Hero. Yeah, something like that. Let's try Can you use Mist? No, you only use one Mist at a time for each battle. Good to know. still hits me anyhow. So returning back to Pokemon Center and we're going back to get more supplies on the Celadon City. Thank you, thank you Pidgeot. And thank you Nurse Joy for healing my Lapras and my team. Fast forward so we don't have to go see me going through all this. Let's go to Lemonade first. supplies. Hope you enjoyed that little Sonic Speed Power. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Let's get some more antidotes. And there should be a Paralyzed Heal that we can use. There we go. Now, let me look at my item inventory again. So, 6 revives, Plain Lemonade. Paralyzed heals. Yeah, we should be alright. Alright. Let's see how Lapras can handle Blaine's team a little bit. Let's give it a try, shall we? Alright, so we want to at least get through... Oh, what? It's like a barrier with that statue. I'll fast forward this because we knew. Yes, we know that. Let's organize our team. Leave Lapras in the front. So we have Gyarados, Diglett, Charmeleon, our newest member of our group, and Pidgeot. So we'll put P Pikachu on the bottom in case we need him later. And our team's pretty good. We just gotta get Lapras in decent shape. So this one's defeated. We defeated that one from last episode. And this one we have not challenged. So what's in store, what's in store for us, amigos? Let's find out now. Then prove it. got four Pokemon today. Let's see what you get. Okay, just like we practiced. Let's go, Lapras. Surround itself with mist. Bubble beam. The speed fell. Good going, Lapras. Charmander. Let's go. Volpix. 
Vamos, Lapras. No avail of Roar. Finish with Body Slam. Very good. Growlithe. Vominos. Well done, Lapras. So we opened that door, and this one we haven't defeated. That one we already knew was right. The question is, what is this one? Let's find out what this one says, amigos. Are Thunder moves effective against ground element type Pokemon? Absolutely not. Like, Pikachu can't electrocute my Diglett. It's obvious. That reminds me, do you remember the fighting part where J uh, James from Team Rocket actually used a Pikachu's Thunderbolt or Graveler on one of the episodes and and he got minus one point because of that one not illogical reason. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's keep going. So this one's done. This one's not. Well, stay with me, amigo. With Charmeleon. Right, Charmeleon? Charmeleon! That's a big point tall right there. But is my Labras up for it? Fire spin. You can't move with fire spin. Thank goodness and put him to sleep. I think fire fire spin traps your Pokemon where it can't move, but however, it's not always accurate as you just saw there. But also it could potentially burn you. So it's not a bad move, honestly. Good job, Lapras. That was a hard one. Better to heal every time you fight a trainer. Excelente. Let's see how my Blaine can test my more of my whips coming up here. Oh wait a minute. Because I left. Oh never mind. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Pokemon and level are not identical. Yes. So I thought, because, for example, my Pikachu at level 37 may not guarantee be identical to the one at level 37 Pikachu. The stats vary. Uh oh, another one Pokemon. Oh boy. Rabidash, evolved form of Ponyta. It's really fast and very strong, unfortunately. It's 
I'm allowed to have my lockers at full notch prepared. Speed fell. All right, just what we needed. Thank you, Misty, for the power of water. Lapras is trying to learn Confuse Ray. That's not a bad move. Definitely. We are removing Mist. You'll never know, amigos. This could come in handy. Excellent day. Well done, Lapras. Wow, you don't say. A uh, fiery Pokemon saved. Blaine? Interesting. You don't suppose that's potentially Lap uh, Moltres that we had studied earlier, Migos? Who knows? Now Lapras has a new move, Confuse Ray. A move that can allow Lapras to confuse a guaranteed hit against other opponents, just like Zubats and Golbats. Mist can help increase evasion, but not as useful as we all know now. So this one's not defeated, so... So, oh, that's the lane himself. One last two trainers. And last quiz. Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. TM28 contains Bomb Stoner? No. Yeah! We did it! We got all the quizzes answered right. Not challenging Blaine yet until Lapras is well ready. All right, bring it on. All right, good challenges. Let's go, Lapras. Use your confuse ray. Personal favorite is Yu-Gi-Oh, Amigos, Charmander, Charmeleon, and we'll get that another time. <laughs> anyway, we got time for one more challenger. We all know in science of H2O stands for two two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom.
that will do for this day, Lapras. Well done. I'll keep that in mind. But, but nowadays, in this version, today, is because Lapras is ice and water, it'll actually just become a normal amount of damage. But in this version, they didn't fix that, so it's actually not as effective against water. Well, that's it for this episode of 40 now, amigos. Give me the likes for solving Blaine's puzzle, and we've got a new member of our team, Charmeleon. We will be using more of him in the next future. Thank you so much, amigos, for watching. My name is Red Vita, and tune in someday when we're ready to fight Blaine. Don't miss the fiery fate moment. Take care, and adios.